Hello Redditors of the Internet, Noble Xenon here and welcome back to another Reddit video and today we will be looking at r slash choosing beggars part 31. Let's get started. First we've got a choosing beggar who is totally not on multiple accounts trying to get her teeth straightened for free. They work, thank you. You should send me a free one, I'll sponsor you. You should send at choosing beggar a free one, only heard about it because of her. Yeah, you need to give her a free one, I'm only here because of her. Send a free one to her or y'all's product don't work. Spamming on a thousand different accounts isn't gonna work. Actually, it's gonna get your accounts banned. For this next one, a company sent me two items by mistake. I contacted them to ask about returning the extra that wasn't paid for. They asked me to pay 40 pounds for the extra item I didn't ask for. Dear customer, thank you for your message. Do you like the shelf? To make up this issue, how about you pay for 40 pounds for keeping it? Then you could get a shelf with a discount around 20 pounds and maybe you could sell it to others if you don't like it? Looking forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, now what you gotta do here is contact Amazon and let them know about this. They'll probably resolve the issue because this is just shady as hell. The article commented on, Nintendo Spring Sale has begun, get up to 80% off. Nintendo should be releasing all game for free whether they are complete or not and give us their entire lineup of 2021 games now to all regions. Animal Crossing is not a video game, it is a service that I'm not happy with. Hopefully now that Sonic proved we the people can change and influence art, Nintendo will listen to us. Do better. I think this one's more of a troll than a choosing beggar. So, Krispy Kreme is giving out free donuts to healthcare workers. And there are two comments. The first one. This gesture is very kind, but right now they need to be helping them boost their immune system. I see donuts doing the opposite. I mean, yeah, I see how donuts might not be the healthiest option, but it's free. You can turn it down if you want. But then the second comment really goes off. Our healthcare providers deserve the very best nutrient-dense food we can offer them. This garbage is literally poison to our systems. Doctors and nurses are already running on empty and their immune systems are compromised. For those of you who feel eating donuts is having a little fun, please understand that eating this toxic food triggers an unhealthy sugar spike and then an intense carb crash minutes later, along with mood swings and depression. They are left feeling worse than before. Donuts are not the answer to helping these tired, exhausted heroes. This person is acting like these healthcare workers are being forced to eat a dozen donuts for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Eating one donut is not going to poison you. This next one is a choosing beggar who doesn't like the drawing the OP made for him for free, then threatens to call the police. You can draw for me and my wife for free, not paying you since you aren't registered. I don't draw for free, but you can draw for practice. If I ever want to practice and have no inspiration, I will message you. Hmm, okay, I need it by April since my wife's birthday, so do it by then. I'll do it whenever I'm free. I can't promise doing it before April. Where do you live? Why? I'm calling the police on you, B. You think you can get away doing illegal stuff? Okay, I'll do it before April. Ha ha ha, got scared of the police. Yeah? Good, stay in your senses. Done? I like your recent post, do it this way. I like your cartoon ones too, you can do these ways. Can I see progress? I haven't started. Hurry up, you're not even paying me. Do you really think it's fair of you to boss me around like this? It's quite rude. If you really want a drawing that fast, I will give you one really quick, but do not complain if it doesn't reach your standards. Okay, do it ASAP, even a sketch is okay. And then, look at what they sent. What the hell is this? WTF, what is this? WTF, what the hell is this? He said the OP was doing illegal stuff. What kind of stuff in there exactly is illegal? This next one's a choosing beggar getting mad at a company for donating a portion of their profits without realizing it's still a ton of money. Rockstar Games will donate 5% of their in-game revenue to help small businesses and communities struggling due to COVID-19. 5%? So generous. During hardships, you learn what companies, businesses, and people are the ones trying to help, and the ones still grubbing up all the toilet paper. Shame on you, Rockstar. Let's try 20%. 
IGN tweets, Get your first look at Retro Crush, a free new streaming service dedicated to classic anime from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And someone replies, No thank you, I'll just pirate anime like always. If you pay for anime on a streaming service, you're honestly stupid. Is this a choosing beggar, or is this just someone who just can't read? It literally says free. A lot of people are not reading articles nowadays, but this guy isn't even reading the headline. This next one is a guy who demands an animated music video for free and extra fast because it's a song about the virus. What's up, bro? I just saw your ad. You have five minutes to chat? Hello, thank you for your message. I'm glad you enjoy our work. How can I help you? You heard about Corona, so we are a band of five and we just finished the song. It's about the virus and we need to get it out as it has an important message. On your website, it says 28 days delivery. Can it be sooner? Need to publish it before the virus reaches its peak. Please don't forget it's an important topic. It is definitely an important topic and I hope you, the band, your families, and friends stay healthy and safe. 28 days is our standard delivery time, which is free. We also offer a guaranteed extra fast 14 days delivery in case you need it. That'll be additional cost of 150. If you're interested in working with us, could you upload further details such as your song, your script and concept and reference images for the band characters? Bro, listen, I will say it again. It's about Corona and not some BS music. Give me better price. Our budget is $100. Sorry, but I'm confused right now. You said you took a look at our website and the pricing table? Even if it's just a performance animation up to 3 minutes, the cost for the project would be about $595 plus another $150 for the extra fast delivery. There is unfortunately no way to work with a budget of $100. Yes, but as I said, it's for a good cause. Is this for a charity project, or is this a private project for your band? It's for our band. It will be released on Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, and more, bro. Can we make a deal? Like, I will link you on the video app, 2k on YouTube, and 500 on Insta, and you will do it for free with fast delivery? Holy. This is either a great troll or the worst request we ever got. So you're telling me that this is not a charity project and you even want to make money with your single, but we should do the work for free? It's not even asking for an almost 90% discount anymore. Now it should be completely free because it's for a good cause? Well, I just listened to the song and I don't feel like a fun track with lyrics like she wanna get my number, all she gets is my corona, is for a good cause. Thanks for the offer. I guess I have to refuse. Just this time, and I put the hundred bucks back in the game, but you deliver in seven days, deal? At the risk that I make myself an idiot, maybe you will understand the following. This is a business. We're also affected by the virus and its circumstances, and we need to support our families and pay rent as well. You're one of dozens this week that were asking for a free animation or a huge discount just because the project is related to the virus. But at least these other projects really had a message to tell and were no fun tracks made to go viral and make money. If we were gonna work for free or that price for any upcoming project, we can immediately shut down the service. This is now getting ridiculous and we're definitely not working on your project. Don't contact us further. Stay safe, healthy, and have a good day. Hope you go broke, you all get the virus. Screw your unprofessional company if that's how you treat your clients. It's Y-O-U-R, your, and you are not a client if you demand free services. You will be blocked from contacting us. Bye. This next one's a short story titled, Why Can't I Have Your New Computer? I Don't Want Your Old One. I recently got a new laptop and I love it a lot. It replaced my old Toshiba laptop from 2011 to 2012. Because of the virus though, there are only online classes, and my friend does not have the sufficient technology to participate in these classes. I was FaceTiming him, and we were talking about school being cancelled and online classes starting. I brought up my old laptop, below is how the conversation went. Me, you can borrow my old laptop. Friend, that Toshiba? Me, yeah, it's not the best, but it works for Google Classroom and Docs. Friend, that thing is crap, why can't I have your new laptop? Me, because I need that, I offered you my old laptop, not my new one. Friend, you have your big PC, that one's good enough. Me, yes I do, but I don't trust people with my new laptop, and I need to use that if I go anyway and it can't bring my PC. Friend, I thought we were friends, friends help each other, you're a rich kid. I hate being called that because I'm not, I just work for the stuff I want. Me, 
I'm trying to help you, but you clearly don't want it, and I don't want to give it to you anymore. I hung up the FaceTime and ignored all his texts. He's a nice guy, but can be an a-hole sometimes. Well, he doesn't sound nice, at least not in this story. As millions of families stay at home, the LEGO Group and LEGO Foundation have joined forces to help children in these unprecedented times. We will donate $50 million through the LEGO Foundation to support children in need. The donation will go to Education Cannot Wait, which provides education for children in crises. LEGO Foundation partners whose work with children is under pressure from the virus. And the choosing beggar replies, reducing the price to help families with no income or low income would have been more beneficial at a crisis like this. Yes, because apparently Legos for your kids is way more important than education for children in need. This next one doesn't tolerate your poor decisions. Warning, our food is very tasty. If you add too much extra spice of your choosing and it is too hot, you will still have to pay. This next one is looking for a tutor to come to my house. I need a tutor to come to my house and if you can babysit, cook meals, and cut hair too, that would be great. Price negotiable, but expect about $5 an hour or for a better pay $20 for a full 8 hour pay. Since when is $20 for 8 hours better than $5 an hour? And you're asking for a hell of a lot more than just tutoring there. For this next one, Starbucks is offering free coffee to first responders medical staff until May 3rd. And the choosing beggar asks, what about daycare workers? Last time I checked, you're not watching your kid. Shaking my head. This next one is another short story titled, Why is only some of the wine free to taste? The premium wine should be free too. In this wine region, if you go to cellar doors, you can get wine tastings for free. Hit up a bunch of wineries and it's a good, good day. Some sellers may have a premium range which they ask for a small fee to sample, but there will be other wines you can taste for free. Any place that charges you a fee will refund the fee if you buy any wine. Went to a well-known place and tasted about 10 wines for free. They had a premium dessert range and if I wanted to sample that, it'd be $10. I'm not into sweets, so I skipped that even though I was buying other wine. This other random couple were already there before we arrived for our tasting. They had been low-key arguing with a staff member the entire time we were walked through 10 wines and who knows how long before we arrived. I was buying some wine so approached a register near the couple. Karen in the couple was very insistent on sampling the premium dessert wines but did not want to pay. Sweet wines are my absolute favorite so I will definitely buy a lot of bottles so you should just give me a free tasting anyway. The very patient staff member was repeatedly explaining that the $10 would be immediately credited to any wine purchase. I left Karen still arguing with the staff. She could have hit another nearby winery and tasted a dozen wines in the time she took to argue over 10 bucks. They're letting you taste a bunch of wines for free, and you gotta pay for a few of the more premium options, but you get the money back if you buy from them. Seems like a fair deal to me. This next one asks, hey, anyone selling a Casio FX82 calculator, please let me know. And two people say to PM them. But then they reply, I want it for free. Thanks. I don't think that's how selling works. Usually there's money involved. For this next one, these choosing beggars are getting more slick every day. You'll see what I mean when I read this post. The choosing beggar starts us off, Hey man, I saw your ad about social media marketing campaign stuff and I think I'd be interested in getting something done. I'm the owner of a nightclub in Beggarsville. We've been closed for about a few weeks because of this whole apocalypse thing. Damn bro, an apocalypse. Naturally, I want people to continue thinking about our brand during this time, especially for when we get back to normal. For this reason, I'd like you to design an online marketing campaign, just 10 Instagram posts or so. Main theme is about caring people in this time, we'll be here when things get normal, staying home, social distancing, blah blah blah. Bonus points if you can find a way to throw in some fake woke BS without it seeming too forced. I attach some pictures you can use for reference, just do what you think looks good. Get back to me if you're up for it, choosing beggar. 
And then the OP replies, hi choosing beggar, I'd be happy to do that for you. I've done several of these promotions for virus cancellations in the past few weeks and I think I have a good idea in relation to the creative process necessary. Usually I charge 25 euro per hour for my services, but for the sake of simplicity I'll just charge you 10 euro per post equaling to 100 euro total at the end of the project. Are you alright with paying via PayPal? I have a contract for you to sign, if you're alright with everything, just type your name out and send it back to me. Regards, Luke. And the choosing beggar replies, yep, that suits me okay, the contract seems fine, had a look through it and everything seems to be in order. Just get back to me when you know when you can get started on things, okay? But everything is not okay as you can see by the contracts. The original contract has the debt amount at 100 euros, which is supposed to be the agreed amount. But then to Luke's surprise, the choosing beggar changes the contract amount to $50. And so Luke replies, that's great, can you just revert the changes you made to the contract? After that, I should be ready to go. And then the beggar replies, sorry, but the changes are saying, in business, I believe in fairness, which in today's world is a dying trait. I adjusted our contract to make it fairer. I can however provide you and a friend with two free entry vouchers to sweeten the deal. I await your response. But the thing is, Luke lives 6,000 kilometers away from the nightclub, so there's no way for him to use the free entry vouchers. So the very last response is Dear Choosing Beggar, No. Regards, Luke. What a way to end a conversation, and what a way to end the video. I would like to thank all of my patrons, especially Seth Southwell, Spoonie the Rogue, Caberti, and Forever Tired. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.